Are we live? We're live. <laughs> we are live. What's up, my people? It's party time. How y'all doing? We've got a big announcement. Oh. Um, we've made the decision that Kim has been voted out. Kicked voted out. out. Executive she decision. Kicked. <laughs> she kicked her ass right out. <laughs> Whatever. No. She's no. too controversial. It's spring, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> she causes way too many issues yeah, on she this does. podcast. So we're like, sorry, Kim. We can still be friends. You just can't be on the podcast. That's right. No, she's adorable and doing a fun little outing with her boys and her husband for spring break. So she's awesome like that. We shall miss her tonight, but she'll be back. Mm-hmm. But hey, guys, today uh, it's episode 10. Yeah. Season two. We are going to do we didn't we've done this once before. Y'all might remember it. Y'all might not have. We're talking about self-confidence. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we're not. It's the topic times. is, am I the asshole? So we're going to read stories that were submitted on Reddit asking, am I the asshole? And we're all going to vote. We need your votes on this. So before we do that, let's talk some updates. This is Ashley, Molly, Kim, and Tara. We are four best friends who, by fate, moved into the same cul-de-sac. We talk all things mom, wife, and woman. We are Moms Take Five. What, 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 what? Oh my, (laughs) yes! You've been letting things out today, girl. I farted. (laughs) Right in the middle of my video. You 100% I don't think anybody noticed it, too. I I posted I no think, comments. There was a couple no, on scrolling. TikTok that was like, did you fart? And I was like, <laughs> maybe. I could see the TikTok following catching that quicker. 100%. Yeah. I feel like that's the vibe over there. They'll know. <laughs> yeah. That's like, a oh, fart. I heard, I heard that. Right? I heard that. I even, right? I even, when I edited it, I turned up the volume on the fart. Really? You yes. did? Mm-hmm. That's why I was saying you should like clip it because same thing. I knew it was there because you told me, so I was kind of trying to hear it, but I couldn't totally hear it. So I'd go back and play it again, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's funny." I know. I texted Matt. It. I was like, I "Just farted during Trolls of the Week. Can I can't decide <laughs> if I should keep Do it I in?" Post he it. was like, "On purpose." I was like, "No, totally not. It just <laughs> came out." And I was like, "Oops, <laughs> oh, whoops, <laughs> so good." I don't know. Like, it's kind of welcome to the mid thirties. Yeah, right? you get un uh uh volunteered farts. Right? Voluntary. Involuntary. 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 <laughs> I was like, wait, what is the term? Wait, farts are not volunteering. How, it was how not, do we say how that? How dare they? Yeah, how dare. <laughs> I knew it wasn't coming out right. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We it's got just, it. It was just, I just had to throw that in there because every time I do a challenge or st- stuff, people are like, how many times did you fart? I'm yeah. Like, I usually don't. like Or pee your pants. Yeah. 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 And, mm-hmm. Or if Matt even did it. Which I'm surprised he doesn't, because he farts a lot. I was like, I would not edit that out, because that stuff's funny. It farts yeah. are funny. Farts are funny. Absolutely. Which is like... They're hilarious. You know, parents are like, no potty talk, no potty talk. But it's like... Dude, it's a it fucking actually is fart. It's funny. Like, sorry, that's like a... <laughs> tro- it. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Pull it, it just together. flows. It just flows. <laughs> like the F, double F. You know it's what I mean? okay. This is marked as explicit and not acceptable for children. <laughs> so... Does he? I, no, I'm oh, mark, you did, I mark yeah, these. I mean, this is marked. We talk about it Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told Ashley this when she was doing my nails. Oh, hold on. Those are you going to do me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, well, I can try. Yeah, I, come I, on. I haven't said Hurry. it. I'm Hurry. Oh, there it is. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I'm a freaking Easter Bunny guy. <laughs> How are you? I love it. <laughs> kind of. Like, look at the colors. Don't you feel like you're going to go on an egg hunt when you look at these? <laughs> I love them. They're so pretty. She got inspired by mine. I did. The chrome Easter vibe. I know. Okay. Uh, have you ever seen Kill Tony? I see. I haven't. No. I still need to go watch it. <coughs> uh, a friend at work introduced me to this. What it is, you guys, you guys should chime in if you've seen Kill Tony. So he does live YouTube podcasts, which I thought was really cool. He's big. He's huge. Like the episode that Mark and I just watched was with Post Malone, Joe Rogan, and another guy, and I forget his name, as guests. And the whole bit is he has these comedians come on. I have liquors from my teeth. I can feel it right there. These comedians come on like from like all walks of life up and coming or maybe famous and they have one minute to like hit it hard with the crowd. Right. And kill Tony (laughs) is brutal. (laughs) Like if they suck, (laughs) it's crass. It's not like kid friendly in any way, shape or form. So just be prepared. But it was hilarious. 
And I highly suggest starting with the Post Malone episode. I was, that was like the suggestion to, to me and my husband to start. And we did. Post Malone is like the cutest freaking guy. You know, like he seems he's adorable. He's so he known to be I so I want to give him sweet. just a hug. Same. I know. Yeah. He was, he'd probably just hug you back real right? tight. I know. He's yeah. Just so sweet. Yes. So he was sitting like on the end table because they sit at a table like this with just like a lot more people like production. There's a band and stuff like that. Like probably like we'll, we'll be by like next year. Yeah. You know? Well, in just a couple like, months probably. I was like looking into our future basically when I was watching the show. Yeah. Yeah. But Post Malone sat at the very corner as every comedian would walk out. <laughs> he's so sweet. He just like. If you look at him with a big smile on his face, you, you like, got this. He'd like genuinely <laughs> laugh at the funny stuff, like when we're all laughing. But if it wasn't funny and then Kill Tony said something funny to basically give the comedian a hard time, like Post Malone would like cover his head with his hat and you could tell he's laughing, <laughs> but he didn't want to like be mean. So he's like trying to like, Oh, like, shit. Oh, you, the whole thing. You, it is. It's so, if you need a good laugh That's and awesome. you don't like are not easily offended. Yes. I suggest it. Yes. Okay. Highly suggested. Hi, Shay. <laughs> What's up, girl? Keep those eyes open. We'll put, we'll you, put you to guessed. sleep. Tara will sing you a lullaby. <laughs> you sleep? That doesn't sound I, good. Yeah, go. No, she, <laughs> she said just... <laughs> we'll put you right to sleep. Quite the well, she said just got into bed, so I don't know how long I'll last. I know, and you said we'll put said, you to sleep. Well, like, you we're boring. Like, no, 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 I we're know, not. I know. We're not boring. I knew where you There's were going, but it, you did... I'm sorry. It came out It does sound like... We're too loud to put anyone to sleep. We're going to put you to bed. Yeah. You're we're going too, to bed. We're too rowdy. Hey, is your sound down? Just, just. Uh, I think Molly's I heard it. isn't, but I told her to turn it <laughs> yeah, down, so it should be good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so kill Tony. Uh, that's on the dock for this okay. week. That's okay. your guys' homework. Hey, I finished. Love is blind. Oh, I think Kay. I did too. Except I didn't do the reunion. Oh, I did okay. the reunion. Which I mean, like, meh, whatever. Uh, yeah, it wasn't on a thing. It wasn't on a thing. Anything? Do you know what? Sweet. The thing that surprised me most was um, what was his name? Trevor? Yeah. Oh, yes. It was really awkward. His, I, the, the re, on the reunion. I guess that was like the only will, thing that was I weird. remember seeing something about Sorry, what he seen. said. It was like offensive, right? Okay, well, here's the thing. Everybody loved Trevor throughout the show. Yes. Right? Just seems like a sweet, the mullet, cool right? guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, after the show, it comes out that he was in a serious, committed relationship prior to going on there. Like... They slept together the night before he left. They were saying, I love you. I love you. The day he was traveling, it was the like, day, I yes. can't wait. You know, I'm like, cr- like emotional. Yep. Just like, yep. Yeah. Super just, weird. Just basically kind of going on for his ticket to fame kind of thing okay. is what it seemed like. Yes. And then he was going to come back to this girl. So he was called out for it on the reunion. And he sat there. I, he was kind of a coward. I'm just going to be real. He was. He couldn't even like, he was just sat there and he was like, can I just. Uh, can I just leave? Yeah. Yeah. Like he did yeah. apologize to Chelsea. He's like, I really did fall in love with you. He said that, but how do you take that when you're right? You know what I mean? Yeah. When you didn't come in with, with a totally open heart, I feel like it's really weird. Anyways, he could have just owned up to it. Like mm-hmm. when you are called out on shit, just own it. Yep. Don't play the like poor me card. Mm-hmm. Just own it. Own it. The other thing that was weird was that AD had gone on a couple dates with Matthew Oh, but Matthew what? now has a girlfriend. What? I just saw that. It was like breaking news today. Oh, when I Wait, woke what? up. Breaking news. Yeah, breaking news. Matthew oh. has a girlfriend. <laughs> just hit myself in the face with the Hold, okay. And he was all mad that he was all mad at editing of the show and mm-hmm. how it portrayed him. That's why he wasn't at the reunion. Oh my. I mm. jumped ship. I thought you meant Ashley's Matthew. Mine? No. <laughs> no. We're I was like, wait. When did this? <laughs> AD okay. did not go on a date with Matthew. No. Yes. No. Her Matthew. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I totally. That's sorry. That's what she said. Right. I went and squirrel I M&M's <laughs> and then I heard Matthew and I was like, yeah. he has a girl. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, got, I'm good. I got it. Focus. So yeah. AD did go on a like date with him though after. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she thought he was good looking, but... I was shocked friends, that he let her get all the way to the altar. Same. No. It was so re- sad. It was I know. So sad. Can you imagine thinking like this is your day, you know, this is working out so great and then mm-hmm. and then he's like She's um, like yes. No. Mm-hmm. And then he's like I want this but I'm not ready. Yep. I need more time. Yep. So I totally get all of her emotions about with that. Yeah. 
Mark heard. <laughs> Shay thought, thought we were talking about my Matthew too. <laughs> okay, thank you, Shay. See, okay, See? fine. Uh, Mark heard that there was like uh, I don't know. They say they make money per episode, and whoever breaks up with who loses money. I don't know if that's true or valid. He read it somewhere. Mm. Anyways, I mean that would want you to stick around. That would yeah. entice you to stick around. Right. So I don't know if that had anything. I don't know. Mm. It's a weird way to do it. Yeah. But in the reunion, he said he regrets it. He said yeah. AD is the love of his life, and I regret that day. He actually, I will say this, he does seem like a stand-up guy, even in the reunion. Mm, he still I, seems shady to maybe me. Maybe I need to bit. watch it. He, well, he seems like he's very nervous about not being a faithful, a faithful husband, mm-hmm. like his dad mm-hmm. wasn't. Okay. But it's just like if you have an alcoholic dad, that doesn't automatically make you an alcoholic. Right. You know, you get to choose. You get to make your own choices and you get to true. choose whether or not you're going to act on something or not. So, so true. It's, Very valid. It's weird. But I know. Whatever. At least, you know, I, I do like that he's like going and doing like a lot of therapy and like working on himself. Right. And, and can at least acknowledge that that's a thing, you know? Yes. So self-help. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Like that's, that's the thing. I mean, I feel like he was... Very real throughout the whole show, even about his insecurities about mm-hmm. getting married. Like yeah. he d- brought it up multiple times to yeah. her, you know, but I get her frustration because she's like, I feel like we continued to talk through this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're you know? still hung up on it. Yeah. And I did like that. She called him out when he was like, I mean, but what do you look like? Because I don't know if I can be with someone. Fun. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> no. I didn't like that either. I was like, because that's you're going against the whole show. Right. <laughs> Right, you've yeah. been on the show to not know what they look like. Right, that's right. to make a connection without knowing. Yeah. Right, and that's then after so meeting her, he's like, "You, we, we're always going to have to stay in shape." Like, boy, oh, boy. oh yeah, gosh. I do remember yeah, that. that. Remember? Remember? She's like, "I'm going to have babies." Uh-huh. Like, yes, her like body's yeah. going to change. Yeah, it's like inevitable when you do that. Yeah, yeah. So, who watched Love Is Blind? Did we figure that out last episode? I don't remember. We just gave a lot away, so we did. We did. hopefully. Spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. <of> spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> we started, so we watched that crazy show. Yeah. Was it a yay no. or a nay? No. I would not suggest it. Okay. okay. It was just them. a little bit too twisted. Much. All right. Yes. Okay. But um, then we went to something lighter. Oh, good. <laughs> <It> was <laughs> good. Like, that was rough. Need some happy cells. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Abbott Elementary. I don't think I've seen oh, that. Oh, it is cute. It's really? kind of like shot like The Office. Okay. But it's teachers in a, like a low-income Philadelphian school. And really? is it actually real or is it like The Office? It's like The Office. Okay. Abbott Elementary. Yes. It's cute. Oh. Okay. Have to check it out. What's like the plot? Like it, a, So there's like this just like... There's like this young teacher that's just starting and of course she's like all gung-ho and then there's like these veteran teachers that are just like... Knowing that everything she does is going to fail, it's just it's just a cute, funny. Mark would probably like it. We should watch. Yes, it. yeah, he would. He yeah, would. Right. She that says I missed life. it. Where is Kim? She is on a little spring break thing with her <clears throat> boys. Well, we voted her out for the night. We <laughs> joked that we voted her. <laughs> no, out. No, we did. We made a joke. We definitely no. didn't. No, no, no. Hell no. Yeah, no. We're the core four, baby. Yeah, we're the core four. Yep. Here to stay. Hmm. Yeah, she's doing fun stuff. When when I heard that's what she was doing, I was like, oh, man, that sounds like a good time. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but just pick it up and go into a hotel, even if it's local. I know. Sometimes just sounds fun. The kids love it. I know. They it's do. It's just simple, but they love it for some reason. Yep. Love it. When we went to Park City, when was that? Like October or something? Remember with my brother and mm-hmm. sister and stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> Freya has talked about that ever since. Mom, when can we go up back up to Park City? And like, seriously, she loved it. Yeah, that was a fun place you guys were at. Oh, so cool. Oh, I should probably do something like that. Sometime. I know, I know. Mark took the kids to uh, Ninja Kids today. Oh, yeah? Was, was it so busy? He I said thought it about it. Packed. I know. I thought about it real hard and I was like, nope. <laughs> I know. It was, he said it was insane. Yeah. The last couple times we've been there was for a birthday party and it was a like private they basically rented it out oh which has been money like the best so he's like it was insane being there with all these kids poor little zeta got totally clobbered i guess they were on the tramps okay but her head was like above i guess there was like the the, you know the platform on the tramps over by the little do you know what i'm talking about Mm -hmm. but mark's like i was sitting across from her and i could see her head but you know it was like an 11 year old kid not paying attention he said he jumped 
and like we're ah like like kung fu in the air and like boom leg just kicked her right over <laughs> literally that's what he said he looked like ah. oh, no. he's like instead of like trying to be like oh shit he just ah, kept <laughs> kept going for two it. year old <laughs> oh. he's like zeta immediately like bawling of course yeah and mark was like ah. yeah <laughs> yeah his deep mean voice Dude. you know Anyway, she was, ended up being totally fine. And the kid was, like, so scared. And he's like, it's all right, buddy. Like, it was an accident. He's like, just be careful. Watch what you're <laughs> poor, doing. Poor Zeta, a little two-year-old. Try your kung fu somewhere else. Right? <laughs> there were some young kids at the park when we were there last time. And Van and Lucy were on top of the slide. And these kids were playing really fast. And, like, this one kid kind of bumped him. And I was about to get mad. But he was so sweet. He's like, hey, dude, you all right? I'm sorry. And I was like, oh. Oh. I hope my kids react like that, but I 100% like, doubt down, they do. Yeah, right? I know. Right? Right? Okay. He was so, he's like, you all right? I'm sorry. I was like, oh, that was cute. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Because usually like kids that. would just like, well, yeah, pretend like, like it didn't or, happen. And yeah, yeah, run the other way. They're <laughs> yeah. like, oh. Seriously. That is adorable. You're like, oh, well, instead of checking on my kid now, I'm like, just going to admire how cute that was of I you know. to apologize mm-hmm. to yes. my kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was sweet. Um, Did you see my bath the other day? Oh, you took my the yeah. Oh, what are they called? Mommy talks, Sal- right? Salty Mommy tubs? tub, salty tub, or something like that. Yes, it was an experience. Yeah, they are. It was so amazing. I looked. <laughs> I was, tell her about it. Tell her the whole thing. I I put candles on and I played like you know sounds. There's sleep sounds. Oh, why yeah. is it making that noise? Yeah, I just sleep know. sounds and stuff. It was like. I was so relaxed and like in my thoughts, got a little emotional. <laughs> like well, just hey. had like a whole thing. <laughs> there you go. It was, it was so nice. That was therapeutic. It was. Yes. It really was. I mean, I like baths, but I've never had one like that. Yeah. I was just very like, You're like I'm enjoying this moment. Yeah. Also like PMSing. So emotions are high. Run high. Yeah. So Get that. Yeah, all of the PMS. things. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I still have mine. And You've after never she used yours? no, after you told me about it, I'm like, I'm really anxious to use it oh. now. See, I went and bought more. You did? Oh yeah, I think there's a I sale coming it. up. I was, g- I <gasps> said you did because I want to buy more. Yeah, that was so so good. I d- I, I took one mine. the other day when I was having cramps. There's a PMS one. Mm-hmm. Really? I've done that or one not too. PMS? It's a like a, a menstrual one. one. Yeah. Did you notice a difference? Something flow or I don't something. Remember. I forget what it's called. It makes you feel good though. You're, it feels like kind of slimy, but like your skin's oh, it's really like oily. Soft. Yes, mm. like moisturized. Because mm-hmm. it, it's it's so steps, nice. right? Like different. Oh no! Oh, you, you put a bunch of yeah. You steps put the, the same salt time. in. Yeah, and essential oils, and then there's this thing. There's a big old brick that you put in. That's I don't even know. You the vibe. M- yes, the vibe. Mm-hmm. And is it what it like a bath bomb? Or you I let know. it like so sit you put, on your yeah. chest. You put um a thing in that like um. Clarifies Something the water. The water yeah, because there's lots oh. of stuff in the water, so it like cleans the water. Then you put in the salts and the oil and like um, apple cider vinegar, and then you let that all go. And then when you get in, then you put a th- a, another little disc thing. And it's called like the vibe. It is. And it oh. like is and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's like a freaking seance yeah. in there. Yeah, like some the of them candles get the smoke going. Yeah. Some of them come with okay. a little electrolyte uh-huh. packet because they say with the salts and stuff you need to up your water <gasps> and your energy. electrolytes and. Some of them come with a mask. And there's like a little loofah that yeah. you, a little natural loofah. Shit, is there mm-hmm. a vibrator in there too? <laughs> no. They got everything. Close. That's amazing. Yeah. It was I do, do want to try mine. Yeah, you should. When I saw your stories, I was like, oh. And then you told me about it, doing my nails. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. <laughs> that right. sounds really nice. I really, really liked it. I want to try it. Made me completely relax for bed. It's great. Mm-hmm. I went to YouTube headquarters. Yeah. You did. Tell us about it. I, I was pretty literally cool. just going to say. How was yeah. the freaking YouTube yeah. trip? It was cool. Was I it? don't know what I was expecting. Like, I think they told us YouTube tour, but I, for some reason I thought maybe a little bit more. She had like a PowerPoint presentation and it was kind of about like stuff we already knew. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, okay, I want more. <laughs> but it, yeah, and it got so long and I had to pee that I didn't want to ask questions. Like, I'm sure I could, but she talked so long mm-hmm. yeah. about stuff you kind of already knew. And I was just like. I just want you. I, I gotta pee. Get through this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you just be quiet so I can go pee? <laughs> right. And then we toured YouTube, which is really cool. Yeah. Is Their it? headquarters. It's in an old hangar. Oh, oh, it's really cool. Yes. I don't even know how to describe it, but it looked like the pieces you showed. It looked huge. Yeah. Yes. Very big. And then there's like a game room in the middle that had like soft serve that we all oh 
partook of. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Just like an ongoing soft serve for whoever wants it. Mm Mm-hmm. And That's there's heaven. a game room. There's like ping pong and like video games and like arcade games. It was like a large room and just a bunch of like their cereal and snacks. And like I that. love That's that. Cool. You're like, I'll be here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to stick by the ice cream, the snacks and the games. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's my vibe right there. <laughs> and then I was at the hotel room for hours by myself. <clears throat> yeah. And I was like, it's just that, that thing where you're like, I never get free time now that I have it. What, do what I do? in the world do I do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm in a town I don't really know by myself. Like, I don't want to go out really yeah. walking right. or yeah. anything by myself. Yeah. Right. I'm not that cool. Um, so I just, I literally sat there for like <laughs> all night from four on. It lo- I put, I put love is blind on my computer, just laid there. I was like, actually, this is okay. wonderful. Yeah. Like, I like this. Yes. <laughs> we ha- I had one girl that I knew there. She's like, we had dinner plans. And I text her like 10 minutes before. I'm like, I'm not going to go to the dinner plans. <laughs> I was just like so set and just sitting there. Like, yeah. I don't want to move. Yeah. I was like, this is wonderful. Yeah. Um, it was probably nice because the rest of this week is crazy. Yes. So it was very have nice. like some time to just chill. Yep. yep. Probably really good and it looks sunny. It was sunny. I did <sighs> sit on the patio for a while. That looks soaking in that so sun. Ni- yes. Blue skies, sunshine. Yes. Awesome. It looked very just really like high scale, nice trip is yeah. what it looked yeah. like to me. Yeah. You know? And I told Matt this, this is so funny. Every Uber I got in, the guy asked me, the the person driving asked me if I was there on business. I'm like, yes, actually. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, am actually, actually but like I feel like I've traveled before by myself and I've never had somebody ask that I'm like was it my like big old bag that looked like a laptop bag or what was it I love that probably that you're like not with anyone else just right well I've d- I've traveled by myself before and gotten Ubers but I've never been asked if it was business that did you feel like so cool yeah I was like yeah well, yeah. Let me get my phone out. Yeah. Can you ask me one more time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> but actually, the Uber driver home was the most adorable older man. I was like, this Aww. guy reminds me of my dad. And he chat like, usually I don't like chatting with him because it's just awkward and it's always forced. But he was so <laughs> sweet and just chatted the whole time. And it ended up, so right when I got in, he's like, oh, I lived in Harriman. He lived right by the park. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we're familiar. Like, <clears throat> they're so small lake city. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah. All the cities. We've all spent so much time all yeah. over the city. Yeah. yeah. That's very So really I knew amazing. right where yeah. he lived and he was aware of my abouts. And That's awesome. Yeah. Look at that. I know. Small, small, small. Yes. Um, so I'm just on here checking uh, weather for Vegas. That's mm. what I was Ooh. doing. Mm. Because look, it goes from like 60, 60s, 70 to 80. In it's April, kind of a little then, cold period wow. right there. Yeah, so it's weird. So I imagine it's it'll starting to be get around warmer. here. Yeah, it looks like it's getting Between warmer. Between 70 and 80 while we're there, I think. Okay. I mean, a lot could change, right? Don't yeah. they say like within three days is the most accurate or whatever? Yeah. Well, actually, probably the day before, hour before is the most accurate. But. <laughs> but. Right. That could be fun. Uh, did you guys see my Panera story? Yes. What the heck? <laughs> you guys. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I didn't share this, on, but this is the second time this has happened at Panera. Just j- and recently, because how long has that one been there? Oh, not long at all. Not yeah. long. And I didn't light them up the first time because I'm like, all right, sh- people make mistakes, right? Mm-hmm. This time I was pissed. Yeah. Number one, I'm on my freaking lunch break and it's, you know, I'm getting my lunch and going back. I, if you guys didn't see it, the picture on the the menu, right, kind of looked similar to the one I shared on Instagram, but it almost looked a little bigger. This delicious Baja bowl. It's not supposed to have lettuce. I did figure that out. But rice and beans and avocado and chicken and tomato. The chicken was extra, by the way. So I paid extra for that. Mm-hmm. Um, the but, uh, chicken was extra? Yeah. So it was just it's, rice and beans and avocado? Yeah. Like basically like a vegetarian bowl. But Or do you want to add chicken is kind of what mm. it was. Um, and then a yummy like um, Greek yogurt salad sauce. <laughs> Y'all, when they gave me the bag and I looked in the bag and it was a clear lid, I was like... Hold on, that doesn't look like, and I literally picked it up and showed the girl at the window. I was like, is this the Baja bowl with chicken? She goes, yeah. 
I'm sorry. Like she, she literally immediately apologized. She knew. So I was like, <laughs> so you know, this is not what this is supposed to look mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. She didn't know what to do. She was just young. I'm like, all right, I don't have time to, to beef with you right now. So I'm just going to go. But that's why I lit them up. I'm like, I'm so tired. I've it's it, expensive. You keep hearing things like Chipotle. There's a big thing with Chipotle. Have you heard that? Mm, no. I'm sorry. I'm not. I am putting these guys on blast. I'm sorry. But it's all over online where people are same thing. You're getting ticked because they're portions are like way smaller than what they advertise mm. oh, okay but this thing was half gone it was half gone you guys there was it looked no, like it was just rice yeah I, right i had two lousy slices of chicken in there two i'm not exaggerating two cherry tomatoes no avocado uh what else was missing were there like, beans in there half of the no beans <laughs> it and really the, just looked and like the rice. other it half did. of my effing salad that someone apparently ate that wasn't me like I could not believe it. I, I get like, too excited for food to like ooh. get <laughs> to check <laughs> it. No, to be I like, I'd be pissed. Yeah. Like I was really when looking was forward to this. 15 bloody dollars. Yeah. Like I could have made that at home. Yeah. F- for $15, probably five times. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Panera did reach out to me fast, which was nice, which is, that's kind of why I tagged him because mm-hmm. I'm like, not that I'm this huge deal, but I'm going to blast you a little bit because yeah. I'm sorry. This is a bunch of BS. Yeah. And I think what they did is they gave me a credit to a Panera app. They were like, what's your Panera number? I was like, I don't, I don't have one. I don't, I don't, I didn't even know that was a thing. I've only been there a couple of times. So they sent me this thing that I need to like sign up for. And they're like, we want to treat you. We did reach out to the place, blah, blah, blah. So, which is sweet. At least they're trying to fix it. Yeah. But I was blown away. Yeah. I would not be happy. No. Mm-mm. Like, bros. Um, <clears throat> Christina's asking us if we're ready for Easter. I I think so. I ordered lots of stuff today on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Yeah? That's where I got all my stuff. Too. Yeah. I got a lot all of stuff it. Out there too. Because I was like, I don't have time to go somewhere. <laughs> to run? Yes. I need to put the baskets out. Ashley said you, you did that, right? Where you, like, set well, them I out got and fill them? Yeah, I got them out and, like, tried to put them together so that I kind of had an idea Right. And then I That's smart. had to get back I know. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I do too. Because I think I need I'm to, done. But. I need to find my baskets and the eggs. That's what I was thinking about today. Because mm-hmm. I about ordered some candy on Target, mm-hmm. like pickup, you know. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know if I have eggs or the basket. And then I must have got distracted because I, I didn't go check. I have lots of <laughs> eggs. I don't have egg eggs, but I have plastic eggs. I have lots of plastic eggs too. I hope so. Much and this. there was tons of prepackaged eggs on Amazon. Did you guys see that? I did see that. I, could, so I, I got bought some, some of those too. But I some of mine have stickers and some of them have jelly beans. I got a hundred. There's like 115 in the pack, so I have more oh, than yeah. what my family needs. Yes. So, but I'm gonna put some of the ones that have stickers. I'm gonna put candy and them else in it. I got like Rolos and stuff. Matt's got to set up Yummy. everything. I'm gonna be gone. I heard I it's know. gonna be. I heard it's gonna be rainy though. <sighs> on oh. Sunday. Yeah, I did see that. What are we gonna do about the hunt? Have the kids yeah. run around to each house? <laughs> just kidding. We're going to say, Maybe get, it's just get, a your, hunt, hunt get your rain. clothes or get your coats on. Yeah. Get yeah, your raincoats on. Mind. Yeah. They're not going to care. No. It might be, actually might be kind of fun. Good memories. Yeah. I get oh. back at seven in the morning on I hope Easter. So. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I kept meaning oh. to message your mom. Like you land? Yeah, I land. So my flight takes off at six. I think I land at like 7.15. Mm. Oh, my word. Then it's going to be Easter, so they're going to want it. They're all going to be up. I know. So excited. I know. Well, that's why Matt's got to set it all up You're and have it all ready. Nap. Yeah. He's got this. Oh, Try yeah, to sleep on fine. the plane. A little power nap. I can usually sleep on planes. Lucky. I learned recently that the headrest, like, yes. folds up. Yeah. yeah, I learned that. Didn't I had no much. clue. Oh, yeah. That I still go like bomb. this. Forward. You did? I, I did forward. it. I did it on the way to YouTube. And it stayed. To make a difference? Yeah. I probably had my mouth I wide should, open. I should use the pillow in front of <laughs> me so it keeps flies. my head yeah. back. You know? Probably. I know. I love those. Mark said I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, why are everything so pricey right now? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> not even to tell you how much Easter was. Oh, It's yeah. dumb. It's dumb. I know. I felt like I spent a ton of money and it was just dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was not, nothing significant. Mm-mm. that's I'm like what is it gonna look like like it's just I did get a couple like spring needs like couple spring outfits like a swimsuit yeah you know what I mean 
But I'm like, how did it add up to this though? Yeah, Fast. like I mean, I know? have four. Yeah, so yeah. I guess that <laughs> that doesn't help. That makes a difference. Yeah, <laughs> she learned that on her last flight too. Isn't that crazy? Really? Yeah, I had no. Yeah. I feel like I learned it from like TikTok or s- somewhere on social media. Yeah, I had no clue. <laughs> That's been around for ages. Yeah, I'm I sure I, I have. I didn't until it. Hawaii. So no way. Yeah, John did it, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." <laughs> and I actually thought it was only on the way there. So on the way back, I like felt, and I couldn't feel it. I like didn't turn around to look because I would have seen it. Anyway, I don't think all planes have them. All airlines. Oh, okay. Because there has been some where they don't. Mm. Well, but it yeah. did. It, the, my one on the way back did too. Did it, it just took me a minute to figure it out. The little things, you know, the little things. I feel old though because I'm starting to get just achy just sitting there Mm -hmm. on the plane. I mean, the plane was only like two hours long, but like my hips hurt and my knees hurt. Like I just want to stretch my legs because I was stuck in the middle. Uh huh. (laughs) Yep, that's where John always pulls times. Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) Why? I'm always in the middle. John needs the aisle to stretch his long legs out. Yes. Yep. That's Mark too. So dumb. I know. They are so tight. It is kind of crazy how tight planes are. <laughs> yeah. Was. When you think about it, you're yes. packed in there like sardines. Yes. There was at one point this guy that went forward to put his bag, you know. We're all trying to board, but then he needed to go backwards. So the guy in front of me just started backing up, just kept hitting me. And I was like, you could tell me that we're scooting back instead of just <gasps> ramming me with your backpack. Are you serious? And then he just He's kept like, like uh, yeah. Then he was like turning and his backpack was in somebody's face that was sitting down. Oh I was like, you need some gosh. spatial awareness here, right. sir. <laughs> Look like, around a little bit. He's like whacking people. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Uh, Damn it, this backpack. Yes. <laughs> Watch it's out. Terrible. Planes are the worst. The boarding process is just terrible. It is. We need to figure that out. Right? I know. <laughs> I do think it's cute how the flight attendants and pilot are always out to say hi. Yes. That's, oh, yeah. I don't know why. I think that's so cute. Like, hi, 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 yeah. hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. I always get nervous like they're celebrities really? or something. I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> like the plane? The pilots? Yeah. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, my life is in your hands. <laughs> that's why I'm nice. I'm like, I'm so happy you're flying our plane. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you're the best pilot in Ever. the world. <laughs> This one was really bumpy too. Was on it? the way home. Oh, no, no, oh. no. It's just one of those flights that I was like, "Are we landing? Are we landing? Are we like?" I was so excited to I land. Don't like that. <gasps> I don't either. The turbulence trips me oh. out. Yeah, don't. We talked about that. Remember? We did. Yes. yes. Mark. Why don't? Why does not? Why don't we all have um, parachute packs? <laughs> why isn't that like a thing? You know, I would feel so much better. Like if I know, I know this shit's going down. I at least have a parachute to deploy. Can you imagine trying to evacuate everybody? Hundreds of people. You just fucking jump, man. (laughs) Open the door and people jump. People panicking and then their shoots tangling up with each other. It would be, (laughs) it would be awful. They'll add it to their little. No one would survive. They'll just add it. No one would survive. You're not going to survive anyway. So (laughs) give me a chance. There's no chance. I think having a floating a floating device. Whatever, <laughs> you're only it all sucks. Only if we're if going down, we're going down. Yeah. Like that, it's the end. No, That's you know what I would try to do it. is like time it, like you know, like when it's about to impact, I'm gonna jump, just to like try to like be above the impact. You, you have your thought of that, like when like you're on, on an, an elevator. elevator? Yeah. yeah, except for so you kind of float a little bit. I think it's just a little bit <laughs> more intense. Than nah, a, I think it'd work <laughs> than an elevator. I think it would work. <laughs> uh, Mark said I rode on an Amtrak train and thought it would be better than a plane. Nope. Totally the same. And Shay said, <laughs> OMG, I love Amtrak trains. I've totally been having it having it on as white, white noise. noise while I work. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that is awesome. That's great. Uh, Wait, Kate, Amtrak train, babe. Are you talking about the the uh the tracks, but like the big train, right? Is that Amtrak? I have it's no front clue. runner. Front runner? Is that no, the I same? Don't, I don't know. Do you want to look it up? I, yeah, I don't know what Amtrak is. I just keep thinking either. front runner. It's got to be front runner. He's never told me about Amtrak. What the hell is that? It's Amtrak, Salt Lake City. Maybe it is front runner. Yeah, is it? it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Amtrak <laughs> train depot. It would be fun just to travel by train. Does Amtrak go through Salt Lake City? At one point. Maybe that's what we should do to go to Vegas. 
on a train. <laughs> Amtrak operates out of a structure at the. They were talking about getting one from Boise to Salt Lake. Really? My mom was so excited. <gasps> I'm like, she would really? be here way more probably because she, she doesn't like drive. driving. Yeah. My um, dad won't drive her every time she wants to because <laughs> that would be like monthly. <laughs> That would be uh, so nice. I know. Just get on there and read or right? listen to a podcast or what? I searched. Mm-hmm. I searched. Am I the asshole? I know. I have some oh, pulled oh. up too. Mark said it, it was in Chicago. Mm. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, I don't, I'm it's late. time in Chicago. All right. Well, any other updates, guys? Did we hit it all? We hit up the YouTube thing. Yeah. Talked about my Panera fiasco. Talked about my bath. Talked about your bath. Um, Noah's <laughs> soccer has been canceled twice this week. <gasps> really? So Ooh. I think this is the first full week With without nothing. soccer in probably a year. Is it kind of, and pl- spring break, so they didn't have dance. Yep. Mm, that's has it been kind of nice? It was kind of nice. <gasps> he was sad, though. Like he, I think he was looking forward to it today because we didn't do much today. It was just kind of like a lazy day. Mm-hmm. I was like, soccer's canceled. He's like, What? He made dinner though. I saw your. Did he do really? the whole thing? Yes, it was. It was one of those really easy ones where you put it in the little tray and yeah. Oh, but okay. he felt like he just he felt so cool doing it. And he's like, Aww. if I do this one good, I get this is just gonna tell me if I can do more that are harder. I was like, yeah, Aww. that's cute. Uh, he did do that's good. Really cute. That little independence. I know. Sounds so big, that's, dude. That's a dream. That sounds great. I know. I was like. I was like, you should start. To, I was like, uh, you're probably too busy to do this more often. He's like, well, mom, I'll help you. I was like, Aww. okay. Aww. But actually, it's dad that does it now. I'm the taxi. He's the chef these days. <laughs> the so chef. with everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she says, That's I so took cute. Amtrak from Chicago to D.C., woke up in the mountains in Virginia. It was gorgeous. But yes, Ooh. there's people who have recorded riding the train for ASMR or whatever. And I love it. Really? Oh, That's just awesome. the sound of it. Or the video, I don't know. What does Amtrak sound like? Does it sound more like a front runner, like, or does it have the like? Ash, ash, that's exactly. It do does. You hear that? Yeah. Really? Uh huh. That's kind of relaxing. It's like right yeah. in my head. I'm like, oh, it's that's not, an Amtrak train. Yeah. So it's kind of like the old school, yeah. like a train, like a train. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> she, like, she does not know. You played it off really good. Yeah, I did. So I'm like, did I? Yeah. I oh, kind of okay. believed you, actually. I, I no didn't, clue. but then I did for a second. And then yeah. I was oh, back to like, <laughs> no. Because it was like slightly different. I'm like, maybe it does sound like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was my best impression of a train. It's really good. <laughs> Glad it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Mark says, I bet that would be the cooler part of riding Amtrak. I've seen TikToks of a cool Colorado train ride. So some, do, some do video and some do audio. Okay. Mm. Look at that. Or you can just listen to us. We're full of ASMR. Yeah. ASMR over here. Yeah. Chew that <laughs> oh, no. No chewing. Oh, my gosh. Your face. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard that laugh out of me before in my life. It was kind of an evil well, I was laugh. Trying like, to- <laughs> Because I was chewing, so I was trying to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like chocolate falling out, like drool. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm salivating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Amazing. I got to play that back. Laugh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? Because <laughs> I never heard it out of her. I didn't even know life. I did that. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, that's funny. Uh, okay. Yeah, link it. All right, y'all. On Instagram. I'll watch it. Okay. Maybe I'll fall asleep to it tonight. You never know. Well, yeah, you I do like know. I do like sleep sounds these days. Ever yeah, since my too. bath. It's really great. Yeah, especially snoring. Snoring's fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude. Okay, Mark. <laughs> okay, Mark. A couple of days this week. Sweet Mark. He... <laughs> Which is my husband. You guys know this. Anyways, <laughs> he snores like a damn freight train. Speaking of trains. Oh, okay. Mark, you can do an yeah. impression for us. Yeah, like <laughs> he does all the snores. Kim and I have talked about this because she says Cody does the same thing where he'll do like the. <laughs> 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 or he does like where they breathe all the way in and their cheeks fill up like. 
<laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, yes. All of them. Yes. He does every version of a snore. And so I shake the headboard, right? That's my yeah. thing. Earthquake! Wake up! <laughs> Finally, I'm like, you have got to do something about your snoring because I'm not getting sleep. I'm like, get the mouthpiece, get the, the nose piece. There's so many options. You can get a CPAP. I don't care. Whatever you need to do. So he's like, hey, honey, I'll, I want you to get, I'll, I'll go sleep on the couch for a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, that's so sad. But I slept so good. <laughs> I got a full solid. Like, I didn't wake up until 6.30 a.m. to pee and, like, get ready. I was like, no freaking way. I slept the whole night. It's not the kids. It's the snoring. It's the snoring. <laughs> I'm serious. It's the snoring. I miss my husband, though. I don't yeah. like it. So it's only been, like, two nights, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Anyways, sorry, honey. We'll, we'll link up a uh, sleeping... Uh, tool right sound, sound sleep medical yeah thank you mm-hmm. thank you yeah get up please give it a try all right all right well should we do a topic yeah am i the asshole oh, these are fun some of them are oh, so yeah. long though yeah some oh, i do remember these being long mm-hmm. yes what's the title of that one this one am i the asshole for leaving for the weekend after my wee- wife agreed to host easter at our house without consulting me Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know. I see. I mean, I don't know the whole story, but I, just from the title, I see both sides. Like, it would be frustrating. It's like, oh, you just signed me up for all this work that I don't want to do. But also, like, you guys are a team. And so do it. I don't <laughs> right? think he should know. be leaving for a holiday anyway, even no. if they were yes. hosting or not hosting. True. Was he planning yes. on leaving before? I don't know. I'm trying to You're get a brief. Read. Yes. That's the thing. I feel like if this was a, a surprise to you, what have the previous Easter's been like? Yeah. Like, is it like been a always you get together as a family with extended family? Well, She's just it. hosting this time. Maybe yeah. there's people traveling in and he's not happy about that. Yeah. But no. Yeah. I think it's more of like, you're a team. Mm-hmm. Sounds like she must not host all the time. Yeah. If you're so upset that she's doing it, like help her out. Yeah. Make, make this happen. Yeah. Can I have a tissue, please? Yes. Yeah. I've okay. So it sounds My like cases. they host a lot. He gets no. annoyed because her family doesn't help clean. Oh, um, sure. He they d- agreed for Easter this year. They're supposed to just have it be the family, no extended. But a qu- couple weeks ago, my wife met up with her mom and sister for lunch. She got home and informed me. She talked to them about how we would host Easter, Ooh. and then he said, "I told my wife that she would be on her own for this one." Oh, ooh. I told her I would be spending the entirety of Easter weekend with my family, and I'll take any kids with me that want to come. <laughs> but I'm not going to be helping with any of the hosting duties whatsoever. You, yep. Wow. I think you are the asshole, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was in the wrong too, but suck it up. It's he, family. It is. Yeah. I mean, okay. Maybe he's I, fed up though. Yeah. yeah. He's just like this is a re- reoccurring thing. Like, yeah. Not taking my epi- my my days off of whatever like and con- like you're not caring you're not being respectful of how I feel about this there actually has been some people in my family I won't say what side but <clears throat> and one of my aunts would get really frustrated because she would always host at her house because she's got this big house and a l- half of the family would they'd make a ginormous mess and never help clean it up ever and she would be like fuming pissed at the end of the night and like me and like my immediate family and like my dad and stuff, we would all stay after and help clean up. We actually got to the point where we were like, actually kind of, we're fed up because <laughs> like, yeah. we're cleaning up after everybody's mess. Right. Cause we're like, we're not going to leave you with this mess. This is a lot. Yeah. But then it's like, no one would say anything to <clears throat> them. And yeah. I'm kind of like, this is your house. Why don't you just say, Hey, you know what? We're all going to teamwork this. Yeah. You know, instead of just leaving it for. Yeah. Sure. Mark says, you didn't consult me about Santa coming to town. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this stranger in my house? <laughs> I'm not staying for that. They're right. all kind of long, but Kay. you can look through them. Okay. Well, let's see. Am I being the asshole? Or am I the asshole for being upset because my boyfriend drove my car intoxicated? 
Uh, no. I, yeah, I don't even Absolutely need to read into that. that's a no. Hell no. Yeah. Like, don't drink and drive. Nope. Period. That's nope. stupid. You know, any car. Yeah. I'm no. mad if you mm. drove any car. Any car. You're yeah, not like, like putting yourself or the vehicle in danger or risk. You're also putting everyone else around you, yeah. which is super irresponsible. Right. I'm totally not okay with yeah, that. Yeah. No, you're not being an asshole. That is. Drink. Sure. He's just an idiot. Irresponsible. Hmm. Okay. I'll do one more and I'll pass it. Am I the asshole for saying something to my friend about her infidelity? So this one's not super long. She says she's part of a friend group. Three. She said friend one will be called Pen and friend two is Clip. So we met two years ago through mutual interests and usually try to hang out with each other whenever we can. Pen is engaged to another person and has been engaged for almost a year now. Recently, the three of us decided to get together again and just hang out with each other indoors at Clip's house. It was a pretty good day up until Penn and I needed to start to head home because we had work the next day. Long story short, Clip and Penn disappeared to go find Penn's keys, quote unquote. And I found the two of them making out with each other in the dark. Almost immediately, I was like, what the fuck, Penn? You are literally engaged. What are you doing? Penn starts to go off with a whole bunch of excuses, catching an attitude about how she doesn't feel At least three attached to her partner. I am. I don't know. Yeah, I maybe, maybe it's matter. male and female. Yeah, no. I don't know. Yeah, uh, and then she, you know, made the excuses of the other one initiated the makeout session. So what? And they're both touch starved. Oh, what? That's what they said. So clearly, she's not getting enough attention from her fiance. Well, then that's your problem with him or yeah. them, not. Yeah, I feel like I'm a no cheating policy kind of person. Yeah, you know, too. I don't think they're the asshole for pointing it out too, because it's their friend group too that they're messing with. Along with her relationship that she's been in for a year. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, no. Oh, definitely. Not okay. No. Nope. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh oh. Do you go all the way out? I'm okay with you for freedom. <coughs> I don't have to. If you guys have any recent stories and you're wondering, am I the asshole? Put them in there. Drop them. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Drink it like it's hot. Mm, how about this? Am I the asshole? For kicking your or husband out of calling. Bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, he volunteered because yeah. he felt so bad. Yeah, no, I was just kidding. Uh, <laughs> he's not. It's <laughs> literally ha- happened twice. Yeah, it's fine. I'm but just am I the asshole for calling out Panera on my stories about their food? I don't think so. People no, do that all the time. You got gypped. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I think that was. Yeah. I always feel slightly bad. I'm like, oh. Mm. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, you guys. You probably get away with this crap all the time. Like yeah. This is BS. Yeah. Do you know the first time I, I the first time I ever had them? It was soup, and was it while I was sick or something? You remember? Mm-hmm. JY went and got me soup, and I was like, "This is just like it was super salty." Really? Yeah. This wasn't like a. I will I say, back. what was in the Baja bowl? It did taste really good. Mm. Did it? Mm-hmm. Which made me more angry because I wanted more. Do you, you know, know what I mean? Do, do you know what sounds really good to me right now when you're talking mm. about a bowl? What? Um, the Greek place over there. Ooh, um, Santorini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their bowls are really good. Should have went there. They're so good. Really good. So good. Yeah, this is intriguing. So it's kind good. of long. Okay, okay. Tell us the story. Okay, am I the asshole for telling my mom and dad that they have to get their nose pierced if they want to see my daughter again? Just wait. What? My husband and I travel down to Mexico to visit with my family. I am an American citizen. My mom and dad are not. My mom and dad got my daughter earrings for her birthday. My daughter's ears are not pierced. She's only one years old. I told them I would save them for when she was old enough to get her ears pierced. We left my daughter with my parents while we went to meet up with some friends. When we went to pick up my daughter, my mom showed us that we didn't need to wait because they had taken her to get her ears pierced. Nope. I got my daughter and dragged my husband out of there before I lost before he lost his shit. <gasps> we went back to our hotel. I am furious. My husband said that my parents are not allowed to spend time alone with my daughter ever again. Mm-hmm. I went farther. I said that they would not that I would not be bringing her or any other kids we might have down to here to see my parents. We checked out three days early and went home. On the way home, my parents were calling me to see when we were coming over. I ignored the calls and texts until we were back home. We took a couple of days to think things over and cool down. I finally called them. I asked them not to speak until I was done talking. I told them that my husband and I were upset for getting our baby's ears pierced without our permission. I told them that we went back home and probably won't be visiting for a while. They said that my sister and I both had my ears pierced when we were babies and that it did not harm us. I said that we are not going to change our minds. They started getting everybody, including my grandmother, to call me and say I was being ridiculous. I talked with my husband. We came up with a compromise. We agreed that we would resume visits, but 
not alone time with them if they both got their nose pierced. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> they said that we are being stupid and that they are not going to do that. I said no problem and hung up. <gasps> yeah. Oh my. Number one, <laughs> you don't get to make those kinds of decisions for my child. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Go buy her a shirt or something, but yeah. don't do something like that. That's more permanent and yeah. like puts them through kind of a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a really traumatic experience. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's not cool. No. Yeah. ER, mm-hmm. This is, we took my son and nephew to the park. There was four teenagers just hanging out in the top spot or like two to five year olds and almost stepped on my nephew. I asked, oh my gosh, my eyes are being weird again. I asked them to please watch out for the little kids. They immediately left. And my husband told me I was mean when I was yelling, when I was nope. telling him about it. Nope. No. No. I would do that yeah, too. Yeah. If it's a specific like age spot and there's older kids in there, boot them out. Yep. yep. Yeah. I think that's totally fine. Absolutely. Yeah. No, there's a reason there's a spot for the littles because they might get Kung Fu karate chopped yeah. to the freaking head like my kid did today. Right. You know? Yeah. How are those M&M's? <coughs> I don't know. I haven't tried them. This is my first one. They taste good. Pretty good. You want some? <laughs> you just need to get them away from me, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just uh, put them right there. there. Out of sight. Pop in. This one says, am I the asshole for refusing to pay for my stepdaughter's tuition because she never liked me? Well, don't use me for money. I'm not going to pay for your school all of a sudden. Or refusing. Okay. I got to hear more. There's more. Okay. I, female 39, married my husband, male 54, six years ago, together eight years. He has two children, male 20, female 19, Emma. I have a daughter, nine. I was a widow when I met my husband. Emma had severe issues with her father getting married again while her brother got along very well with me and my daughter. He is not the best older brother out there. He is the best older brother Mm. out there. Emma did not like me, and she treated my daughter very badly, too, to the degree that she almost never left my arms when her sister was home. When Emma was 15, she permanently moved to live with her mother. My deceased husband left me a small fortune when he passed that I never touched since I had a good job and never wanted anything more. So last year, I helped pay my stepson's tuition. Mm -hmm. I am planning to do that with my daughter, too, and the rest I will add to my daughter. My stepdaughter is very angry now calling me the asshole. Am I? I never had a good relationship with her. She always hated me, and I don't think she's becoming a good person. And honestly, I would rather leave more to my daughter than pay for her ungrateful ass. (sighs) My husband is sad because he thinks I am being unjust. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. You might not want to, but just be the bigger person. Mm -hmm. That's how, I mean, just like whatever. Yeah, if you're going to give your stepson money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was maybe just a just a step up, but yeah, I mean, like you can't. Well, and so, what age did she enter her life? She was a minor, right? Um, like th- wasn't there something about her being fifteen years old or something? Yeah, you know? I, yeah, that I I don't know. I'm te- got a tender piece of my heart to like step kids, step, step yeah. parents, because I lived through it, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, you just got you gotta be careful, man. Yep. There. I know it probably sucks to be in that position to like immediately be the enemy before they probably even give you a chance, mm-hmm. you know, but they're also kids and their, mm-hmm. their world was probably like ripped apart in front of them, whether it was a good thing their parents got divorced or not. Hopefully it's still they'll hard grow. for a kid. Yeah. Hopefully they'll grow out of it. Yeah. And give them a chance to like, give them something to be like, you know what? I was awful to her, but she still, you know, cared right. enough to whatever. Exactly. Like you could yeah. be that person of like, wow, like kindness lives even if I maybe didn't deserve it one day she might be like whoa I probably didn't deserve her to help me but she did yeah love her for it you know and she'll be a better person from it yeah okay Christina says I was hanging out with my sister at my house as asked to earlier that week I said no it's sister she invited 20 of her friends and my asshole kicking her friends out oh so you're hanging out with your sister, but and then she invited 20, invite friends. 20 friends. Yeah, no. That's a lot I of people. I kicked them all too, but yeah. I'm not cleaning up. <laughs> right. And Mark said it was more of a Sparta kick than a karate chop. <laughs> I am Sparta. Sparta. That's right. That's a much better visual. Yeah. You're right. Look, I wasn't there, okay? Hey, Molly, what you doing? How's those m ms Molly? Do you like those? <laughs> Delicious. 
Okay, am I the asshole for telling my husband that if he pays me my hourly rate, I will do more housework? (laughs) I don't think it should ever be expected of someone. That's what I don't like. Like, if you live here and you're contributing to the mess, then you can contribute to cleanup. Yep. I totally agree. Absolutely. It it doesn't matter if you're home all day or not. I don't care. We're all living in this place. Yeah. Everybody's making a mess some way, somehow. Yeah. It should not be solely on one person. No. She said she's a steam fitter. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. Steam. Must be some type of work, I imagine. I I'm going to look this up. But I've been at it for a while, and I'm in supervision. What? Maybe she's a supervisor. Anyways, with bonuses and incentives, but not counting benefits, I earn over $100 an hour. Good for you. She also works out of town. I start doing that once the kids were old enough to take care of themselves when the, with their dad at home. Uh, let's see. It's a great time. But, uh, my husband is upset, however, because I decided to pay for a cleaning lady. <sighs> what? No. He and I discussed it, and we agreed that him and the kids didn't do a great job keeping the house clean and tidy while I was away. Yeah. I hated coming home to a mess. Caused a few fights because I was like, <clears throat> it was like they expected me to come home and clean up after them. Mm. Yeah. So when her husband came to her the last time she was home and said we should cut back on the service when I'm home, that I should be doing more housework. He thinks that we are wasting money. Oh, dear. (laughs) No. So he's asking her to clean when she's not traveling. Yeah, not okay. And cancel the cleaning. (laughs) Um, A steam fitter leaves out, assembles, maintains, and repairs piping to carry water, steam, fluids, gases, chemicals, or fuel for heating, cooling, lubricating, and process piping systems. Wow. Dang. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, no. No, you're not the (laughs) asshole. I love that. Sure. You want me to do it? You can pay me then. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's fair. Done. Yeah. Job done. Job done. Uh, sure. My Are eyes are being weird. I can't read very well. Really? It's the lighting or what down here? Do you need your blue light glasses? Uh-huh. Have your blue light glasses. I don't know who they are there, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, they make such a difference. Do you ever wear them? No. I guess you don't really need. Well, you could for your, I f- could. your phone. Yeah. And you do stuff on your computer, too, don't you? Yeah. It literally saves my eyeballs. I, they are adjusting a little bit. Like, I've noticed I don't need them all day long. Oh. Which is interesting. Uh-huh. But I still do because I don't think it's, like, totally good for your eyes to stare yes. at the screen all day anyways. Am I the yeah. asshole for refusing to host any more family get-togethers at our house because I hate hosting my in-laws and their <laughs> poor manners? <laughs> This is good it's because like, Easter's coming Yeah, up. that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. It's like my husband and I finally bought our first house, five bedroom, three bath a year ago. Over the holidays, we thought we'd take on the role of hosting a few get togethers. From my perspective, it was hell. I hated every second of it and never really, I never really hosted anything or entertained or whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's just that I'm not used to the requirements, but growing up, my mom and dad would host family and they were like, they were nothing like this. My in laws did things like, let kids run around screaming, yelling up and down the stairs, touching things that didn't belong to them, making messes and not making them clean up after themselves. Parents didn't bring anything for the kids to do and got pissy with us for not having anything for them. Brought a dog into our house, let the dog on the furniture, left what? chairs <laughs> left chairs sticking out of tables, uh, counters instead of pushing them in, stomped around the house with their shoes on despite being asked to remove them. Left what? trash, paper plates, etc., sitting around or balled up against, or instead of placing it in the trash. Opened multiple bottles, cans of drinks, and only took a sip and left it open. Said, open medicine cabinets. What the hell? <laughs> pulled you out and, monkeys over there, right? Pulled out and used new rolls of toilet paper when there was still plenty left on the rolls. <laughs> <laughs> only one person asked if we needed help at any point, and it was my my husband's brother, a new girl, brother's new girlfriend. Who we all were meeting for the first time. She offered to help us clean up, bring out food, etc. Okay, y'all should start voting on here. Tell us, are they the asshole for not wanting to host anymore? <laughs> we should start getting some votes. Just write, asshole. Wait, yes, they're at yes or no. Yeah, <laughs> yes like, or no. How asshole, do you vote? Not asshole. Are they the assholes for saying I don't want to host anymore? Yeah. She said, his mom and dad are upset with us. We have the we have the big house. So they figured it would be on us from now on. We said that the only way we would ever even consider hosting is if every member of the, his family pitched in in some way. They said, that defeats the purpose of someone else hosting. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> this sounds like a very entitled group. Right? 
two no's so Very, far. Very, yeah. like, this is what I expect. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, they are? They're not the assholes. Not the assholes. They, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Totally. Yeah. Yep. No, number one, you can have uh, boundaries. Yeah. Even if, even if there's, like, no reason other than you're like, I just don't want to. Right. Like, that's okay. And also, like, if someone's hosting, it's like, well, what can I do to help you? What can I bring? Yes. And, like, yes, stay to help clean up or whatever. Like, yes. Yeah, that's crazy. I totally agree. Yeah, offer to help. Mm-hmm. Off, you know, I do. I mean, I think it sometimes can be hard if like there's a family of siblings and then it ends up only being one sibling that does all the hosting because mm-hmm. it is a lot of work to host. It's you got to prep your house. You're obviously doing the, probably the main courses. It's financially and, like it's a yes, thing. It's yeah. expensive. Mm-hmm. Adds up quick. So yeah, it, clearly they're not helpful. They're Especially if you drink you. alcohol. <laughs> that is true. That's expensive. <laughs> that shit is expensive and it goes quick. Yep. This is just showing that there's always, like, more to the story. Because when I first read these, I'm like, oh, my gosh, yeah, you're the asshole. Yeah. And then you read the story, and you're like, oh. Really? Maybe not, like. So this one says. (laughs) It's a good one. Am I the asshole for making my daughter choose a different restaurant for her birthday meal than the one she really wanted? Interesting. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) My daughter recently had her 17th birthday. My husband and I told her to pick out a restaurant that she liked us to take her to for her birthday. She chose a seafood restaurant that we'd never been to. I'm looking over the menu. I see the vast majority of the dishes contain shellfish. There were a few fish entries as well as some surf and turf, but there were only a couple of non-seafood dishes. Our son, 15, is deathly allergic to shellfish. He also can't stand fish. There were only a couple of dishes there that he could actually eat. I didn't want to take him there because I knew... He wouldn't really enjoy his meal, and I was worried about cross-contamination. 100%. I told my daughter that this restaurant wouldn't work and that she would have to pick out a different one. My my son said that he would be fine just staying home, that we could use the money that we had spent on his meal to just order him a pizza instead. My husband also insisted that since it was our daughter's birthday that she should be able to choose the restaurant, and our son would be fine at home alone with pizza and video games. But here's the thing. We can only afford to go out as a family every so often. When we splurge on a restaurant meal, I want both of our children there. I insisted that my daughter choose a different place and we have a nice meal as a family. But she is still a little salty that she didn't get to have her first choice of restaurants. (laughs) Man, I keep going back and forth on that. What do we think? I was just going to say that. Is she the asshole or not? (sighs) I think she handled it well. I think presenting a choice, and I think, like, it sucks that they don't go out very often as a family. Right. But if the son was okay with it, like let her have yeah. her let her have her birthday meal that she wanted. That's what I was right. thinking after when the son was like, I'm good. Yeah. Right. Also, I agree. I oh sorry, go ahead. That would be kind of stressful though. If your son's like, alive. Cro- yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Cause yeah, I I'm sure that's scary. Yeah. They probably throw it swells up. Like yeah. you don't want to have to like epi pen his ass right in the restaurant. Right? You know what I mean? But in the same regard, maybe it's like, hey, I'll just take you. I don't know. Yeah. Do yeah. a little mommy and me date or something. Right. You know? Right. That's crazy. That is crazy. Crazy sauce. Crazy. Freya keeps telling me, when are we going to go to Disneyland, mom? Oh, she oh. keeps telling me I want to go to going. Disneyland. She does? Yeah. She ke- she tells us. Uh, she I, she said it like four times today. Did I'm she? like, going to Disneyland. Yeah. She's like, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> we don't know when, but we're going this year. I was like, she's right. Oh, okay. I told her that. She is repeating what I've said. Because Mark and I said, we want to take them this year. This is true. Do we know when we don't? I told her, I'm like, it's going to probably be a surprise. So just hang tight. It's going to be a while. (laughs) You're going to get that (sighs) daily. Daily. I know. I was like, shit. So you better make it sooner rather than later. (laughs) Or just change your story and be like, we'd love to go, but just stop thinking about it. (laughs) Right? We're not going to. We're actually going to go to the park. Yeah. We're going to go to the park. Yeah. And we're Over gonna, there. We're going to go to Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, where we are. We hit that place up a lot. Yep. Oh, my word. I think it's so funny. I feel like they're these little friends, all of them, I've heard all of them do it. Where, like, if they're at my house or something, they, they like, make a point to share, like, something like that, like, really cool. Like, why well, I did this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Why well, I did this. They're one up in each other. Yeah, yeah, well, I went here. Yeah. <laughs> well, my grandma got me this. Yeah. They all do it. You know, I'm like... Why the hell is it a competition already? You guys are freaking right? seven and eight years old. <laughs> I know. Calm down. Calm, calm down. You need to down. calm down. You need right? to calm down. Just cracks me up. Yeah. What a sweet brother, but it's not like he didn't like it. It was it was due to an allergy. Exactly. Yes. True. Yeah. 
Like if it was, oh, well, someone doesn't like it. I thought it was going to be like the mom didn't like anything on the menu. I know. And I was that's like, what I was, that's yep. what I was Or didn't like seeing when I first read it. I was like, yeah, right. you're the asshole. But yeah. then like, but I could get it. Yeah, we've been in a similar situation. Yeah, the allergy <laughs> piece kind of. <laughs> I, I have never told anyone that we could not go somewhere. <laughs> If our kids go, okay, here's the deal. The only place I don't want to eat is Panda Express. I love Panda Express. It just messes with my belly. Oh, yeah. The other thing is McDonald's. I just feel real ick after eating McDonald's. Those are the only two places I want to go. But I will gladly go somewhere else for myself. Like, I will go pick them at McDonald's, and I'll get myself something, and it's fine. Other than that, I'm like, sure. So Mark says the 17-year-old definitely knew the brother was allergic, but that might be the reason she wanted it. She's like, like bro, it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. It's my birthday. I never get it. Yeah. Right. Like, let me get right. this on my birthday. Yeah. You can die on the table. Yeah. It's my day. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can stay home, bro. Right. I don't want you there anyway. <laughs> Shay said, when my brother was little, he apparently was telling everyone at school that he was going to Disney. So when it came time to plan, my parents were like, well, I guess we're going to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> that was, oh, that was supposed to be a laugh face. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is. That's so awesome. I like Disney. <laughs> oh, I do too. Yeah. Every time I've like, I think I've, I've seen all three of you go over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah. It's time. Okay. Am I the asshole for hum- humiliating, she put quotes, my daughter for making her tell her relatives that she isn't graduating and paying me back for all the rental stuff? I mean, initially kind of. I would say yes. Yeah. It's not your place to say. The throwaway also what okay my daughter was supposed to graduate college this semester we've been talking about her graduation party for basically seven months okay what she wanted to do and who to invite we've already sent out the invitations and multiple relatives have booked flights to come up the issues is my daughter isn't gra- is not graduating she lied oh. to everyone for at least four months oh, oh. she failed the class that she needed to graduate last summer and didn't inform anyone oopsie what? She told us yesterday, the party is in about a month. Everything has been paid for already. <gasps> okay, see, this is another one of those. You read into it and you're like, uh. So I informed her she needs to call all her relatives and explain the situation. Yeah. If they can't get a refund for the fi- for the flights, oh shit, people were going to fly in. I expect her to offer oh, to pay the money them back. back. Yeah. I also informed her she needs to pay back the rental price since I can't get a refund for some stuff. Yeah. That's was, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Resulted in a huge argument. She's calling me a jerk for humiliating her. I explained that it is her fault and she informed us months ago this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, you made your own choice, girlfriend. Responsibility. Yeah, yep. yeah Mark, like I'm with you. You, you got to face your your own. Um, yeah, especially because if it was a couple months ago, like she said, they probably could have gotten returns yeah, or figured right. something out. Refunds. And, it, and it's college, so she's an adult. I was kind of thinking like high school. Yeah, they nope. still there. She's an adult. She's in college. I would too. Yep. Like, sorry, girl. Yeah. People invested a lot of money in this and mm-hmm. and lying for four months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not like your mom's gonna get you out of the situation. Nope. Nope. She's not telling everybody <laughs> you've got no nope. call. Yeah. She's <laughs> Tell like, people. She's like, hell no. I'm gonna. You're an adult now. <laughs> you can face that. One. Exactly. Welcome yes. to the real world. Yep. Yep. That's what, yep. That's what my mom said. Is you just read that? Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. That's what she just said. Like, wow. Well, yeah. Same wavelength. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yep. It's college. Yep. <laughs> so crazy. Did you say college? Because that means she is. Yep. Yep. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Those adults, man. Right. Wonder how. Wonder was she a Gen Z? Was she a? I'm kidding. You never know. You never know. You never know these days. Mm-hmm. What else? Any Gosh, other? Some of these are so long. Let me think. Okay. Was Mark the asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. For eating your cheesecake? For eating my leftovers and cheesecake. I think, I think we already established that. We did establish that. It's okay. You're forgiven. Don't for, worry. For yeah, now. honey. Just don't do it again, I Mark. do Just get <laughs> him thinking that you offered it to him. Yes, I do understand I did. that too. And I, but and not I the did. cheesecake. No, that no. that crossed the line. Well, well you did I was share. giving you the benefit of the doubt she with did the leftovers. Share bites. But yeah. My favorite was when that <laughs> showed up on the door. <laughs> and I was like in tears. And I looked at his face and he's like, that's really nice. Of <laughs> like, that's so nice. She did that. And I know he meant it, but he was like, I look like another, like a motherfucker over here. <laughs> Sorry. Just Sorry. kidding. <laughs> That's for Tara's oh, language. Honey. Oh, oh, honey. They were offered. <laughs> Damn it. For that <laughs> night. I specified. 
you could only have it yes. that, that in night. that moment or <laughs> not at all or nothing <laughs> oh you're off for just that time frame and then it's out That's the right. window take it's it or high. leave it buddy take it or leave it do you guys like this thing somewhere no not that one <laughs> I know you're driving somebody crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh, we celebrated a I'm always looking John's birthday. We did. Yes. Okay, so uh JY turned forty and um I that day, well we got him a Lego set. I think I talked about it that mm-hmm. time, whatever, but mm-hmm. I um said we were having the neighbors over on Saturday, but <laughs> I had invited a lot of other friends. And so it was so funny because one of his friends had talked to him and he, he asked me, he's like, Hey, can we, can so-and-so come over? And I was like, Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe on Sunday. And he's like, wow. Okay. Like whatever. <laughs> and then these guys, and then these people showed up. He's like, what the hell is they came to the door? And I was like, see silly. Like I, right. Yeah. I loved it though, because everyone kind of showed up like slightly different yeah, times. Staggered in. Like we were all there, you know, yeah. like, yeah. The core four was there, the, mm-hmm. the neighbors. Mm-hmm. And one, what was it? One set of group yeah. friends started. He's like, whoa, I, I didn't even know they were invited. Yeah. Hi, guys. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think it dawned on him yet. Yeah. And then someone else showed up, and then the bigger group showed up. Yep. And he's like, no way. Yeah. It was <laughs> Just so a genuine, fun. like, excited yeah. surprise, you know? That he was thanked really me cute. so many times. Did he? He's been so cute. Oh. Just the cutest. Oh. I know. So Who fun are you? The cutest. Okay, we can do one more. Okay, let's do one more. It says, am I the asshole for begging my girlfriend to uphold a sexist tradition just so she can make a good first impression? I have a big family that's incredibly close. We have a big family dinners every few months where we all meet at my great-grandfather's estate and eat together. Typically how this works is that the women go cook for the time that they're there and the men don't which I'm fully aware is sexist as hell. Mm -hmm. That being said, I am one of the youngest people in the family, and my protests mean literally nothing. Some of those women choose not to cook. However, this is usually met with a level of ostracizing. The women who don't cook are wives and long-term girlfriends, so they already kind of have a good family relationship doctored in. When I see new partners not cook, it's gone bad, like completely ostracized, not speaking, cattiness, rudeness, etc., Ooh. This dinner will be in two weeks, and my girlfriend was asked if she would attend. Initially, she said yes, which is great. I want her to meet everyone and for everyone to get used to her being around. But when I explained to her the tradition, she was understandably bothered. I told her that I understood where she was coming from. However, it was the best for everyone if she just played along. Mm-mm. I told her that this isn't a permanent thing, that I am only asking her to do this so she can avoid bad treatment from the rest of the family. This was this is her first impression. I don't think it's the best if we cause waves. She told me that this is unacceptable, and if she has to do that, she was, will not be going. I've tried to find a compromise with her on this, but she won't budge, and she's pissed at me. Yeah, he's the asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, 100%. let her make her own first impression. <laughs> and yes. who cares if she doesn't want to cook? Those people can suck it. Yes. <laughs> Let her you know? just be her. Yeah. My I word. L- love cooking, but I hate cooking around people because I feel like I'm doing everything wrong. Being judged by how yeah. you're doing mm-hmm. things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I have my own way and I feel right. like maybe I'm doing things completely wrong that no. I never knew I was. So I'm just like, I I wouldn't want to cook around new people yeah. for my first impression. Right. I'll, cook, I'll cook in secret. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. I'd like to have I'll it ready you before. I'll make you something at home and bring it yeah. to yeah. you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> You guys like casseroles? Right. <laughs> Make a casserole. <laughs> uh, Christina asked, am I the asshole for asking my neighbor to clean up their dog poop out of my yard? They never let the dog poop in their own yard. just mine. My mom said no. no. And she said, absolutely not, Christina. I hate that so much. I hate it too. And yes, he's the asshole. Yes. Change has to start somewhere. It's yep. true. It's like, it's so, it's so, that's awful. Okay. The dog shit thing. Yes. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, I've had my, I've had a dog shit in my yard a few times. <laughs> Freaking mini, okay. She when does. she comes outside, I'm like, why do you have to always go shit when I bring you out front? She poops in the back too. But no, I've literally seen her poop on Ashley's yard. I'm like, I will yeah. come get that. I'm gonna clean yeah. it up. Like we are not those people that like to leave shit on people's yard. If I miss it, please tell me. I did ask you the one. And you did. Because I was gonna send one of the kids, but there was a reason. You were healing from your surgery still. Oh, was I? Was that? Well, and I told you, I'm like, oh. we'll clean it up. You don't need to clean up yeah. our dog poop. Well, I normally but I did. Like I totally brain I'll do it. 
out the other side. And so she texted me and I went and got it. Anyways, here's, here's the flip side, guys. Am I the asshole for letting my dog shit in my <laughs> asshole neighbor's yard? <laughs> And not cleaning it up. I'm just trying her to poop in that one yard. Am I the asshole? A little bit. I oh. need to know. A little just bit. Slightly. Because. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I get it because I know who you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So, I, I get it, but oh. like, it's still kind of an asshole thing to do. Mark, do you hear that? Mark, it's kind of an asshole thing to do. Do you hear that? Literally. Oh, hi, saw, Mark. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Uh, we saw. <laughs> I've seen her do it twice. And Mark was there. He's like, just, just look away. Just look away. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's so messed up. It's and he's like, bad. those guys are fuckers. He's like, think about everything they <laughs> Okay, that was a little excessive. <laughs> All that. That's worse than the F That word. was out of control, Tara. I know. You that's, how I watch your mouth. that's how I feel. You do watch your mouth. You Mark, guys, that's how Mark feels. I know. <laughs> he does. I've heard it. But listen, Straight I'm more of like, a, let's be, take the high road. You know, like we yeah. don't need to leave poop. I'm not gonna do yeah. it anymore. I kind of, I literally still feel guilty that it's happened yeah, twice. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But then Mark reminds me, like, think about it. They won't let our kids use their snow. They told our, they told all the neighbor kids, will you not touch our snow oh or our God. driveway or our driveway? You can't ride our bike. Don't go up on our driveway. I know. I know. They are definitely. They are. Minnie's they pooping are. in the yard and Terry's going. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Good job. Yeah, there we go. We brought that back around. Uh, Mark, I'm just going to fling it over the fence. <laughs> Babe, I, I poop scooped. I poop scooped. It. And then it's like all right? in their yard. Right? That's messed oh, up. Don't no, because hilarious. they think man child will like come after us. Yeah, or he probably you know? would. Watch out. Probably. For real. It kind of scares me. Uh, my mom's asking how the sourdough was coming. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you kill it? I, no, it just hasn't <laughs> activated yet. So, yeah. it's a dehydrated starter. So, I have to actually activate the starter to even like be able to do anything. Mm-hmm. And she said it would take like less than a week. It's been over a week. <laughs> I think it's getting close. Really? But it, I don't know if it's going to work. I have a friend who's a magic sourdough person. So. Yeah. You do? I think she's, I need. Well, she's a fan. I have a nail client. I need an active, active so. starter Ooh. so I could just yeah do the next step from that. I'm going to have her bring one. I'm going to start. I don't know if I even have time. I don't know when the hell I'm going to even do that. I, I was really excited for it. And then I'm like, I can't even activate the stupid starters. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a start. She has a, is it a start, whatever. That's Starter like 15 kit? Yeah. years old. And so like when you're pulling what? from one that's that old, like it's really hard to kill. Yeah. I so need that. She's like, it's like. I have a little baby one that doesn't want to activate. No, it sure doesn't. <laughs> it might be old. It's like a dehydrated one. So How I have, do you know if those it are activates? Harder. There's certain things you're looking for. It started bubbling a little. That's why I'm thinking I'm like, I'm getting close. But it's also supposed to like double in size and the sides are supposed to like stick and I don't know. And it's supposed to float in water, which I haven't tested yet, but I'm pretty sure it would not. I'm going to I'm gonna it's a trip. have to do a sourdough course. It's just the fact that they told the kids to get out of their snow. Then they purposely threw the snow onto the cement. To melt. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, 100% weird. they did that do that. Weird. Yeah. They did don't do that. Don't take our snow. I have never yet. seen that before in my life. They are total poopy buttholes. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> Poopy beep, 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 beep. halt. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Okay. That was fun. We love y'all. My head hurts. I don't know if it's these headphones Good or being on a screen oh. all day. See? Yeah. Pour uh-huh. one out for uh-huh. Kim. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's see. Just Wait, kidding. They don't dip. spill. Ah! That'd be so funny if they did. <laughs> if they did. So like, one time. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awful. All right. Uh, that was good times, guys. Okay. Love y'all. Don't love be an y'all. asshole this week. Yeah, don't be an asshole. Okay. <laughs> Yeah.